Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at what causes connecting rods to break the engine block. A connecting rod can break the engine block if it experiences excessive stress and force. There are several factors that can cause a connecting rod to break and damage the engine block. Let's have a look at some of the top things that can cause a connecting rod to break the engine block. 1. Over reviving the engine. When an engine is revived beyond its safe limit, it can cause the connecting rod to bend or break. This can result in damage to the engine block. Always remember that reviving the engine beyond its recommended limit can cause excessive stress on the connecting rods, causing them to break. When the piston is reciprocating inside the engine, when they are moving from BDC to TDC and when they are moving from TDC to BDC, as they reach the extreme ends, ends of BDC and TDC, the connecting rod has to stop and change direction. If the engine is accelerated to extreme speeds, overcoming the inertia of the connecting rod and the moving parts will cause excessive stress on the connecting rod. If this excessive stress is beyond the allowable limit of the connecting rod, the connecting rod can snap. Always remember that when piston is reciprocating, it is continuously changing direction. For example, when the piston is moving from BDC to TDC, it has to stop and then change direction from TDC back to BDC. Once it reaches BDC, it will stop and then change direction and start moving from BDC up to TDC. Now, this change of direction even though it is not visible to the naked eye when the engine is running at extremely high speed, the change of direction requires the moving parts to stop and then change direction. Stopping a high speed spin requires deceleration and overcoming the inertia. If this inertia is extremely large, it can cause damage to the connecting road. So, if the engine is accelerated beyond the allowable limit, this inertia will be extremely large causing the connecting rod to snap and then go through the engine block. So, over reviving the engine is the number one cause for a broken connecting rod. 2. Lack of lubrication. If the engine oil is not changed regularly or the oil pressure is low, it can cause metal to metal contact between the connecting rod and the crankshaft, leading to excessive wear and tear. If there is insufficient lubrication inside the engine, the connecting rods can seize and break. If there is lack of lubrication, engine components will gradually overheat due to the excessive friction that is generated between mating parts. This will weaken and soften the connecting rod and then it can lead to connecting rod breakage and failure. 3. Engine Detonation Detonation occurs when the air-fuel mixture in the engine ignites prematurely, causing a sudden increase in pressure. This can cause the connecting rod to bend or break. Imagine a connecting rod moving from BDC up to TDC and a massive explosion acting in opposite direction, forcing the connecting rod and piston assembly to return back to the BDC position. This conflict of pressure Conflict of direction of travel of the high expanding gas and the connecting rod and piston assembly will cause the connecting rod to bend. That bend will lead to connecting rod breakage. 4. Manufacturing defect. Poor quality material or manufacturing defect in the connecting rod or block can cause it to break under normal operating conditions. This is basically when the parts are constructed from inferior material. If you are not using original manufacturer recommended parts, that can also be a cause for a broken connecting rod. 5. Incorrect installation. If the connecting rod is not installed correctly or if it is not tightened to the correct torque specification, it can cause stress and that can lead to a broken connecting rod. 6. High performance modifications. When a high-performance engine is modified with aftermarket parts, it can put additional stress on the connecting rod and block, leading to failure if not properly engineered and installed. And finally, 7. Normal wear and tear. Over time, the connecting rod can become worn and weakened, making them more susceptible to breaking under stress. 
In order to prevent connecting road failure, it is important to follow the manufacturer's recommended maintenance schedule and take care of your engine. Regular oil change, using high-quality oil and filters, and avoiding excessive reviving can all help prolong the life of your engine and prevent costly repairs. Additionally, using high-quality parts and ensuring proper installation can also help prevent connecting road failure. If you notice any unusual noise or vibration coming from your engine, it is important to have it inspected by a qualified mechanic to catch any potential issues before they can cause serious damage. Regular inspections and preventive maintenance can help ensure the longevity and reliability of your engine. It is also important to follow the manufacturer's recommended maintenance schedule and use appropriate oil and lubricant. Overheating, lack of lubrication, and excessive stress are common causes of connecting road failure. So, it is crucial to keep your engine well maintained and avoid pushing it beyond its limit. Additionally, if you plan to modify your engine for increased performance, it is important to ensure that all components are compatible and properly installed to prevent damage to the connecting roads and other engine components. Overall, proper maintenance, careful driving habits, and attention to warning signs can help prevent connecting road failure and extend the life of your engine. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this video. If you enjoy what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.